Hi, so I got this HP Pavilion 22C monitor for repair. Uh, the problem was that uh, it would turn itself off after uh, a couple minutes or up to a half an hour. It would just uh, the screen would go blank. Uh, the backlight would turn off. Uh, however, uh, the light would just freeze. It would stay on and you can't uh, switch the monitor on or off anymore. It would just freeze after uh, up to half an hour of running. Uh, it would just turn off, freeze. And uh, I was looking for the problem and I eventually found that on the main board there is a, this U6 IC. Uh, it's a uh, Winbond 25X41. It's a uh, SPI flash memory chip. And uh, I found that when I heated it with my uh, hair dryer, so when I heated it for 10 seconds or a bit more, uh, the screen would turn off and uh, the light would freeze and the monitor won't turn on again. So the problem I figured would be in this uh, flashy prom chip. So what I've done, uh, I bought another 25 series 4 megabit SPI flash chip. I didn't find the exact win bond uh, chip, but uh, it doesn't matter as long as the capacity and uh, the IC size is the same. So 25, uh, this would be uh, 25 U40 something, doesn't really matter. So then I thought how would I program it and uh, since the monitor would be working for a while until it heats up so I thought it would be okay to program it uh, read the program from this chip while it was uh, cold or ambient temperature and then write it to a new chip so I did exactly that and uh, I used a cheap programmer that just a second. I found this uh, in a local electronics shop. It's a cheap 24 series and 25 series uh, programmer. It's called the CH341 mini programmer and it worked absolutely great for the job. It read the old EEPROM and it could write the new one just without any problems. So I did that. And now with uh, this new EEPROM installed, uh, I mean fla SPI flash chip installed, uh, the monitor works just fine even if I heat it up for a minute with my hair dryer. I wanted to share this uh, information for anyone who might be having the same problem. Now, I would also uh, like to show how to disassemble and assemble this monitor. Uh, I guess I will do that in another video.